Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you how I make some of my natural hair products. I've obviously been on this Big Chop journey for a while now. Um, my Big Chop video was about uh, three months ago. So it's been just over three months that I've had natural hair. And I've obviously bought a lot of natural hair products, but I've also been making my own as well. So I'm quite into natural products at the moment and trying different combinations of oils and butters and seeing what my hair likes and what it doesn't like. So I've got three products to show you. Um, one of them I actually made another video about, which I'll link below, but I've updated it for this video. So I'll just give you a quick overview of each product and how I use them on my hair and then I'll get into showing you the recipe and how I make it later. So the first one is this and this is the updated version of my other video. It's basically a leave-in conditioner, um, that's what I kind of use it for. I use it as the first step in my LOC method which is, if you don't know, it's when you use a leave-in conditioner then an oil and a cream on your hair to lock in moisture. So I use this in the first step. Um, that yellow colour is the olive oil. So. Um, they separate so you shake it before you use it and then it looks like that. Um, I think in the old version of this I used coconut oil as one of the oils which I've stopped using because um, coconut oil hardens at 24 degrees so if you keep it in a cold place or anywhere under 24 degrees um, it, those bits will solidify and then they won't be mixed in so it doesn't really work so I wouldn't use coconut oil for this unless you live in a really hot place and all your rooms are hotter than 24 degrees so yeah so I use this um, as a leave-in conditioner when I get out of the shower or just after washing my hair I'll put this on and it works as a detangler as well so it makes it a lot easier to comb your hair through um, with a wide tooth comb or with your fingers, which is what I do. And I only do that while it's wet. Um, I also use this as like a, ref like a kind of a moisture refresher throughout the week. So on day two, three, four hair, I will spray this onto my hair just to add a little bit more moisture. Like if I've previously put lots of creams and butters on my hair I, I wouldn't want to keep building up more heavy products so if I just want like a light mist of moisture without weighing my hair down too much with really heavy products then this is great for just adding that little bit of moisture in without weighing the hair down and it's also good as a shine spray so it adds a little bit of shine because it's got vegetable glycerin in it and that can add a nice shine to your hair so I find that is good after you finish your style you can spray a bit on and also because it has um, essential oils in it um, it can perfume your hair quite nicely so I've added lavender and geranium to this one which is a really nice floral scent so yeah that's basically what I use that one for um, the next product I was going to show you is this one and it's this is just basically, so the difference between these sprays, this one's a bit more of a mist so if you can see that, oops that's probably gone on the camera, um, that's like a fine mist so it's not too heavy, it just adds a little bit of moisture, um, whereas this one is like a more of a heavy wetting spray so I'll spray a bit, I don't know if you can see that on the camera but um, it's a lot more um, of a heavier spray so it will saturate your hair a lot more and I use this one to um, revive my curls so on day two three four hair I'll use this to re-wet my curls so if the day before say I used um, styling cream or gel or something like that and then the next day I don't want to completely wet my hair and start again but I don't want to add more products on top and weigh it down either. But I just want my curls to come back to life. Then I'll spray this on. So I spray a generous amount in the morning um, onto my dry hair. Um, and then this will get it quite wet. And then when it's wet again, the curls will basically come back to life. And those products that you used the previous day will be reactivated. So yeah, that's really simple to make. So you'll find out how to make that. And the third one is this whipped hair and body butter. So this is, um, yeah, for your hair and for your body. But um, I mainly use it for my hair. It's basically 
for those days where you really need a lot of moisture. So I would use this on wash day sometimes as an added step. So I'll use this one first and then I'll add a bit of this as well sometimes, not every time, but sometimes I'll put this as well and then I'll follow with my oil and my cream styler. So this just adds a lot more moisture. So if you feel like your hair needs a lot of moisture, um, this is the one to use, but you have to be a bit careful with it. Don't overuse it because it is very heavy. It's got shea butter and lots of oils. So um, if you use too much, it will weigh down your hair. I will also use this during the week uh, between um, wash days. I kind of use it as a bit of a hair mask. So I'll put it on just before I go to bed and then put on um, a silk bonnet and then sleep in it. And that will really, it will give a chance for this to really penetrate your hair strands. Um, and as I said, you can also use this for your body, but again, I would only use this um, in areas where you really need a lot of moisture, like if you have dry patches or like elbows and knees, feet as well. Um, I also used this after my holiday in Zanzibar. It was great for prolonging a tan. So I used this every day for about two weeks after I came back and I didn't peel at all and usually I peel but this really stopped me peeling and my tan lasted a long time. So that's the three products that I have been making for my hair at the moment. I think I'm gonna probably start making my own shampoo and conditioner bars as well. So when I do, I will also show you how I make those. But these are the ones I have for you so far. So if you are interested in how I made these three products, then please keep watching. So for the leave-in conditioner, you'll need a small spray bottle with a misty kind of spray. And then add to that two tablespoons of vegetable glycerin, one teaspoon of aloe vera gel, and you can use shop bought or natural straight from the leaf. One teaspoon of castor oil. one teaspoon of argan oil, one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, about five drops of vitamin E oil, six drops of lavender essential oil, Six drops of geranium essential oil. Then just fill up the rest of the bottle with bottled water. Give it a good shake and that's that. Next I'm making my curl refresher and you'll need a big bottle with a strong spray nozzle so that you can really wet your hair with it and I've already put the aloe vera gel in and I'm not really doing accurate measurements so you can just see how much I've put in in the video. Next I'm going to add some vegetable glycerin and I put about two tablespoons in but again it doesn't need to be accurate so you can just do this by eye. Add about five drops of vitamin E oil. and about five to six drops of orange essential oil. Then fill up the bottle with some bottled water. Give it a good shake and you're done. Now for the whipped hair butter. And you wanna start with one cup of shea butter and you want it to be kind of semi-hard, not too soft, but not so hard that you can't whip it. Then add half a cup of coconut oil, and again, you want it to be in its hard state ideally, because then it makes the whipping process easier. Then add one teaspoon of argan oil, one tablespoon of castor oil, and one tablespoon of sweet almond oil.
Then using a hand mixer, whisk this up until you get a nice smooth consistency. It should take around 5 to 10 minutes to get the right consistency. Now it's time to add the essential oils. So add about six drops of cedarwood essential oil and about six drops of frankincense essential oil. I think I also added lavender essential oil to this but I don't think I filmed it. Then add about five drops of vitamin E oil. Continue to whisk until you get a smooth and fluffy kind of consistency. You want to get a lot of air into the cream so it gives that light, airy feel. A bit like whipped ice cream. Then you can transfer to your jar. As I said earlier, you can use this on your hair or your skin. If you're using it on your hair, then you should rub it between your palms first to melt it and then distribute it through your hair. So that's the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.